Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I'm here with a new tutorial that is create our DLC report with report path in C Shop Windows Form application with database. Okay, start Visual Studio. Go to File menu, click on New Project. This is the directory, default directory. I will create this application in this directory G RDLC tutorial folder. Select this folder, name the application. The application name is create RDLC underscore F underscore tutorial. Click on OK. Yes, the application is created resize this form and now start SQL server to check the database and table then the server name option hyphen PC authentication SQL server authentication login SA password is SQL server authentication password click on connect yes it's connected my database name is programming db table is user info underscore tab you can see columns are user username address age sex and date of birth now let's check the record these are the records in the database table okay now i'm gonna connect uh, the database with visual studio using server explorer right click the data connection click on add connection server name server name is option have in pc you can see okay authentication is sql server authentication username sa password sql server password and then select the database database is programming db click on ok yes it's connected now expand the table table folder table name is user info underscore tab and the column also displaying the user info underscore tab okay now in the solution explorer i'm gonna add a report right click add new item click select reporting click report this is rdlc report name is report one dot rdlc click on add yes the rdlc report is added now right click insert page header you can add page header or footer now add a text box yes in this text box i'll use to title of this report title is user info report resize this text box align center and size select a size your expected size okay now add new dataset oh i didn't create dataset yet so now i'm gonna creating dataset past so to add dataset go to the solution explorer right click on the project click on add new item and then in the data select data and click on dataset dataset name is dataset onexsd okay the dataset is added now just drag the table from the server explorer and drop it in the dataset Yes, the table is added. Table name is user info underscore tab. You can see, and the columns also displaying the data set, data table. Okay, now in the report data, in the left hand, just click on new data set. Name is data set one, and data source is data set one. What I added, and uh, table is user info underscore tab. Click on OK. Yes, it's added. Now. I'm gonna inserting a table to display data in RDLC report. So right click insert table. Yes. There are default three column. Place this table. Yes. Now select the row. User ID this one for username and uh, third column is for address. Add insert one more column in the right side. Okay this one for yes two more column now this one for age 
and last one for sex okay my report is done so design the header of this table back color light gray and font font bold font to it bold yes now this is looking nice okay now go to the form one design design this form so go to the toolbox and add a level control just drag the level control and drop it in the form to design this form okay the level control text is user info report using rdlc font size font size is 18 font bold true okay and for color print piece okay now back color of this form yes now this is looking nice add a button control this button control i'll use to load report rdlc report in windows form using c sharp okay back color is purple and font size font size is 12 font bold true and for color text is load report for color is button paste yes it's also nice now now i'm gonna add a report viewer so go to the reporting expand the reporting and just drag the report viewer and drop it in the Windows form application please send resize this report yes it's done now go to the button click event yes this is the button click event in this event i'll write code to load uh, data from sql server database to rdlc report using c sharp so first of all connect with the sql server so sql connection connection equal to new sql connection add namespace using system.data.sql client just click ok the namespace is added now to get connection string right click on the database and click on property double click to select the connection string and copy put in sql connection with double quotation ok now it's connected with the database now write code oh there is an error to uh, solve this error at, at the rate before the double quotation in connection string okay now sql command My sql command is to select all the records from sql server database table user info tab so sql command command equal to new sql command command is select star from user info underscore tab okay now initialize the connection string connection okay now sql data adapter sql data adapter d equal to new sql data adapter initial the command command yes now data table data table dd equal to new data table d dot fill dd now report viewer my report viewer id is report viewer 1 so report viewer 1 dot local report dot data source dot clear to clear the report viewer initially ok now report data source source equal to new report data source your data source is dataset1 with double quotation and then dataset1 dt dt is data table you should add namespace to reuse report data source so namespace is using microsoft reporting dot windows form just click yes the namespace is added but it's a report data source error or oh, s is a small letter should uh, put it capital letter yes now it's okay 
now report viewer one report viewer one dot local report dot report path equal to double quotation go to the solution explorer and copy the report name report one dot rdlc okay report one dot rdlc now report viewer one dot local report dot data source dot add add source you can see report data source source okay finally report viewer one dot refresh report okay it's done now debug load report oh login failed for user sa let's check the connection string it's uh, displaying an error stop debugging first and uh, check the connection string user id sa okay it's done but password password you should put your sql server password original password okay now again debug again you can load report displaying one more error expecting the report in bin debug folder i'm gonna put physical location now okay stop debugging and for physical location to get physical location go to the application stored in the directory you can see report one dot rdlc so copy this directory copy this location and paste it in the report path with backslash yes now it's displaying error for backslash to avoid this error to solve this error just put at the rate at the beginning of the double quotation okay now it's solved debug again yes it's debugging load report yes the report is displaying and report is extracting successfully okay now i'm gonna add a higher clause in the sql command so select the start from user in front of sql tab higher is greater than 26 okay now debug again load report the records displaying higher age is 20 greater than 26 okay this is 29 and 30 so it's greater than 26 okay now change in higher close 26 to 25 and debug again yes it's uh, displaying all the records which is greater than 25 okay now when you publish this application the directory will not available in the client faces so put only report name in instead of report path so i just removed the path directory i just only put the report name now debug see what happened load report yes you can see it's expecting the report in the bin debug folder i'm gonna put report 1.rdlc in the expected location so go to the solution explorer and uh, there is no bin folder now select the project and select show all file click on show all files yes now you can see it's displaying the bin folder expand the bin folder expand the debug folder and now just move this report one dot rdlc in the debug folder just drag select and drag and drop it in the debug folder okay it's moved now see that there is only report name instead of report path debug again okay now click on load report yes the report is loaded successfully so change in higher clause remove higher clause yes now debug again 
load and you can see all the records listed in the database table displaying in the RDLC report okay now I'm gonna add one more column in this table in RDLC report this column is for date of birth just select date of birth okay now debug again load report yes all the records displaying with date of birth column okay thanks for watching this tutorial